Hello everybody, this is Donnie. I am back again to do an update video on my HFS, Hardware Factory Store, paper cutter. This has been a tool I have used not every day and sometimes not every week, but multiple times during the month I come in here and I make inserts for my traveler's notebooks. That's what I use it for. Um, I have just printed out, I think there are 15 pages here of an insert. This is from Annie Plans Printables. I'll link that below if you happen to be interested. Uh, I'm making inserts for my B6 and I make new ones frequently. So <laughs> sometimes I like what I've made and sometimes I just don't use them so I'll make others. But I'm going to show you how I trim it real quick and just kind of do an update. I bought this cutter almost a year ago and the previous video I made has had lots of um, very nice comments made on it and I wanted to update you if you have already bought this uh, you know how good it is but if you haven't let me just recommend it again because it seriously has saved my fingers I play the violin and um, a year ago or so more than a year ago I cut myself pretty bad um, with a trying to cut an insert with a knife blade um, it just was not a good thing my husband recommended I buy something safe I showed him this it was right at a hundred dollars at the time and he said get it so I did and I have not regretted one time buying this I'm going to cut this real quick and my update basically is it is still cutting exactly the same. I have had no issues with this whatsoever. The only thing I can say is that once you have one, you will always want one. <laughs> and, and so if you go someplace and you don't have a cutter that's like this, you're going to think it's terrible. And that's my, my guess. Um, I'm going to actually continue making a line where I can see it. I'm cutting lengthwise at the moment and I cannot see up close very well. I'm very, very nearsighted and I wear glasses. So let me make a second mark where I want my cut and then I'll be able to line up better to it because I can't see what I'm trying to tell you. I can't see right down here. So I'm going to line up, there's an opening right here. I'm going to look down into this opening and line up my two marks where I have learned this cutter cuts with the blade and right where I want it to go. And let's see if I, if I can nail this. It's an easy to use, very easy to use. Thing. There is a twirling mechanism off here to the end. Let me move the camera so you can kind of see that. This right here. I'll loosen it this way. Tighten it this way. Moving you back. Now I'm going to make the cut. There is a safety right here. That blade, which is right here, it's housed in this apparatus right here. It will not go down until you press this to release the bar and then pull the bar down. Chomp. I'm going to put it back up and it'll automatically catch the bar. Loosen. And I think I did pretty good. There's a pencil mark there and a pencil mark right there. So now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to stack my papers right how I want them all even. Line up my marks. Roll. I'm going to call this a clamp. I don't know really what it's called. But I'm going to roll that down and it will hold the papers. Release the lever chomp. I do not have to exert to do this, which is awesome. Awesome. 
I'm going to loosen that again and pull it out. How'd I do on that one? I think I got it right on. When I make an insert, the next thing I do, instead of cutting these edges next, is I go ahead and I fold the whole book in half. I'm going to try to get this on camera so you can see. The whole idea for me is to make these pages go ahead and fan, not only in the front, but in the back, just a little. And I'm going to hope you can see what I mean by that. So that the center pages pop out just a little bit. If you were to fold it after you cut it on this edge, your papers would do that. So I prefer to fold and then cut this edge. I'm just going to finger press that crease. I'm taking an old insert, not old, it's a current insert, and I'm going to mark where I want this to be cut so that it will be even with all my other inserts. Now, if you're using this for something different entirely, it's not going to matter to you what I'm doing right here, but just for my benefit, I'm going to make my marks here and here. And now I've doubled what's in here to at least 30 pages because I think I had 15. It may have been a few more, but I don't, I don't know for sure if it was more. I know it wasn't less. I am looking for my mark. Hold on. Like I said, I'm very nearsighted, even with my glasses on. And I can safely, by the way, reach under here right now. I am not touching that blade at all. I'm just lining up my insert under here. I'm going to move my hand, of course, out of the way. Tighten the clamp down. Release the lever. Now watch this. 30 pages. Chomp. Done. Three cuts. Let me loosen it. I'll push that out to see how I did. My dust. Because it's dirty. I, I store this, by the way, in my storage area. I think I did okay. Let's see. How does it look? Awesome. And the middle pages are as even with the outside pages. So, what do I think about the HFS cutter? It is still going strong. I highly recommend it. If you're interested, see the link below. I got mine off of Amazon. Uh, you can also contact them directly. Uh, HardwareFactoryStore.com Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.